Hello, my friends, and welcome to Red Dead Redemption 2. If you are new to my channel, hi, hello there, welcome. My name is Jessica, and I love playing video games. I do post a new Let's Play video every single day, seven days a week. My current bi-weekly Let's Play, which goes up on Saturdays and Tuesdays, is LA Noir. And starting today, my five-day week series will be Red Dead Redemption 2. And if you do end up liking what I do here, I hope you will consider hitting that subscribe button, follow me on Twitch as well as Twitter and sticking around for all my future gaming adventures. Now that my shameless plugs are out of the way, back to Red Dead Redemption 2. Now this is my first time playing this game, but as usual, I am peripherally aware of its existence. From what I understand, it's a cowboyish story set in the Old West, I think. I'm expecting the robbing of banks and trains and riding a lot of horses or something like that. I mean, that's my expectation, so hopefully it lives up to that. <laughs> but as always, my big ass is going to be that there will be no spoilers in the comments section without spoiler tags, and preferably with them so far down the comment, I would need to use the read more option to even see them. I do read and more often than not like and respond back on my comment section eventually, so any spoiler tags would be very much appreciated. Now, I'm not sure how much of what I'm about to say will apply to a red Dev Redemption 2, but just in case, I want to say that I do, as always, appreciate any tips and or tricks you may provide, but please don't get angry with me if I don't make your preferred decisions, as on occasions, I do like to make my own choices, even though they're normally poor ones. <laughs> and more also, in case you are new here, I do tend to take my time on first playthroughs, which means I do try to do every quest, talk to everyone, explore everywhere, read quest entries, journal entries, and any and all sorts of entries. I do also tend to loot excessively, do quests out of order, and on occasion make controversial decisions. So in summary, I'm slow, I do things wonky, and I make poor in-game life choices. Again, not sure how much of my normal disclaimer is going to apply to Red Dead Redemption 2, but just in case, it needs to be said. So the next item on my list is to say that I preemptively adjusted the in-game sound settings to make the dialogue louder than the music, but I may need to adjust as I go, depending upon how it all turns out. And now I think that is everything off of my list. So we are ready to go ahead and get started, I guess, story. So we'll start there and see if that's right. Pretty sure it's probably right. By 1899, the age of outlaws and gunslingers was at an end. America was becoming a land of laws. Even the West had mostly been tamed. few gangs still roamed, but they were being hunted down and destroyed. That looks so cold. 
Abigail says he's dying, Dutch. We'll have to stop someplace. Okay. Arthur's out looking. I sent him up ahead. Uh. If we don't stop soon, we'll all be dying. This weather, it's May. I'm just hoping the law got as lost as we did. There. Arthur! Any luck? I found a place where we can get some shelter. Let Davy rest while he... You know... Nice. An old man in town. Abandoned. It ain't far. Come on. Come on! Yeah! Oof. I love these transition black and whites to graphics and back. It's really pretty. Chapter one, Coulter. Bring him in here. Gaskell, get that fire lit quick. Miss Jones, bring in whatever blankets we have. Mr. Pearson, see what we've got in terms of food. Davy's dead. There was nothing more you could have done. What are we gonna do? We need supplies. Well, first of all, you're gonna stay here, and you were gonna get yourself warm. Now, I sent John and Mike scouting out ahead. Arthur and I, we're gonna ride out, see if we can find one of them. And this? Just for a short bit. <laughs> and I don't see what other choice we have. Listen. Listen to me, all of you, for a moment. Now, we've had, well, a bad couple of days. I loved Davy, Jenny. Sean, Mac, oh, they no. may be okay. We don't know. But we lost some folks. Now, if I could throw myself in the ground, in their stead, I'd do it. Gladly. But, we are gonna ride out, and we are gonna find some food. Everybody, we're safe now. There ain't nobody following us through a storm like this one. <laughs> and by the time they get here, well, we're gonna be, we're gonna be long gone. We've been through worse than this before. Mr. Pierce, Miss Grimshaw, I need you to turn this place into a camp. We may be here for a few days. Now, all of you, all of you, Get yourselves warm. Stay strong. Stay with me. We ain't done yet. Come on, Arthur. All right. We've got some work well, to do. We ain't run into them yet. So they both must have headed down the hill. Sure. Hey, I ain't had time to ask. What really went down back there on that boat? We missed you. That's what happened. Come on. Uh, oh. Hey, you need horses? Oh, yeah. Hey, Mr. Smith, get yourself indoors. You need to rest that hand. I'll live. Get indoors, son. Bye. We need you strong. OK. Uh, uh. I'm holding W. You Come not hang. On, let's go. I, I, I want to escape. See what? See what I have? Player. What is that? Player Arthur. His weight is perfect. His temperature is fair, and his honor is is I, I don't know what that means. Overview. 
Your stats are impacted by how you care for yourself. Eating and sleeping will refill, refill your cores. Um, facial hair length is short. <laughs> hair length is medium. <laughs> okay. Honor. Your honor will change as you perform both good and bad deeds. As you become more honorable or dishonorable, your game will change. Eating too much or too little will make you become overweight or underweight. Wow. It's pretty extensive. If you are overweight, stamina will be affected negatively. Yes. And health will improve if you're overweight. Really? Okay. If you're underweight, oh, I can see health will be negatively affected and stamina will improve. Okay. I get it. Temperature and the weather, the weather in conjunction with your clothing will make you too hot or too cold. If you become hot or cold, your core health will drain rapidly. Toxicity. There's a bunch of perks I have to discover apparently. And all right, escape. And then escape. Horse. I don't have a horse. What else do we have? Story. I could save a game. Oh, nice. Uh, no. Escape. I don't want to do any of that. Online social settings. I feel like that should take me right back to where I was beforehand. Yep. And progress. Compendium challenges. Total completion. I have zero percent. <laughs> Um, map. Wow, that's pretty. So spider gorge. Lovely. Add marker index. Okay. Dutch Charles. Who's Charles? And a corpse. Coulter Grizzlies AM. Lovely. Um, okay. Sure, what we're gonna find out here, Dutch. We have to try. Stay close. We'll do our best to stick to the trail. This goddamn weather. Been two days or more like this now. Oh, it has to blow over soon. I'm like, I don't know if my, my horse just covered in snow or if my horse is white with polka dots. Bridge coming up. Take it easy. Oh, goodness. It is snowy. Can't believe we lost Davy, too. He's the last one, Arthur. No more. We need to get those people warm and fed. At least we don't need to worry about Pinkerton's tailing us in this. Yeah. Well, a couple more days, we'll be on the other side. You need to help me pick the others back up. You're the only one I can rely on to stay strong right now. We got fire and shelter. That's a start. What about the money? And what about the money? Please tell me you at least got the money before it all went to hell on that boat. We did. It stashed with the rest of the money in town. It'll be safe for now. But we sure can't go back there to collect it anytime soon. Hey, I think I see something up the path. Do you? You up ahead! Who's there? Oh. Micah. Oh. Gentlemen. Found anything? I think so. Found a little homestead down that way. Okay. Anyone home? Sure. Place is blazing with light and noise. Sounded like a party. Let's go see. Follow me. <clears throat> How's Davy doing? Well, he didn't make it, nor did little Jenny. That's too bad. Davy was a real fighter. Both of them calendar boys is, or <laughs> was. Yeah. And Mac, Sean, we don't know. Quite a business. Over there. Ah. I'm glad you're all right, Micah. Always. Ask him if he's seen John. Hey. Have you seen John, Micah? Didn't see much of anything 
once this storm came in. He hasn't seen them. <laughs> He'll be fine. Things always turn out right for that boy. I hope Mac and Sean are still out there somewhere, too. Move up, Arthur. I'll cover the rear. We're the only ones crazy enough to be out in this, Morgan. Yeah, well, don't talk to me about crazy. Oh, so no, glad you're all right. I was worried, Micah. Look, <laughs> it's all gonna work out, Morgan. We lost a few folks, but that's just how it goes sometimes. Well, I'm glad you're feeling so good about it. Where are all the others? Old mining camp, back up the hill. Ain't much, shelter. So, this house, you speak to the people there already? No. Like Dutch told us, look, don't talk to them. Okay, let's keep it down now, gentlemen. It's just up ahead. Whoa, whoa, Stop where are you going? Stash those oh. lanterns, boys. Best you two lie low on this. Okay, let's head down there. Health is displayed in the lower left corner. Yeah, my health is uh not doing so great. The outer bar shows your Let's remaining health. Approach the hitching post. Okay. Let me do the talking. We don't want to scare these folks. Someone's having fun in there. You two, get yourself out of sight. One lonely man is a lot less intimidating than three nasty looking degenerates. <laughs> Arthur, in that cattle shed on the left. Micah, get down behind that wagon in front. I hear wolves. Arthur, what are you doing? I said get out of sight. I got there eventually. I'm a little slow. Hello? Debbie. Shut up, Billy. Excuse me. Hello? Oh, well, hello, friend. What you want? I am very sorry to disturb you. Uh, my friends and I, well, we got into some trouble up the way. Lost in the storm. Uh-oh. Ah, gentlemen. <laughs> we can't help you, mister. I got folks. Arthur. Dying on the Arthur, trail. we got a problem. Yeah. <laughs> folks. There's a corpse right here. Now, I, I just Arthur. need some There's a body of food in the wagon. I hear you. Just gentlemen. keep your eyes on Dutch. Please. I Let's think have... you should go... This gun, right? Um, now, friend, I ain't asking for much. Please, I am kind of desperate. Hey, I don't believe it. Come here, partner. Come here. No, no, no. It's goddamn Dutch Vandalin, you m- Look out, there's more to pass!
me. That's my boy, Arthur. Good shooting. Goddamn, O'Driscoll boy's here. Why? I don't know. Maybe same reason as us. Micah, go bring the horses closer to the house. Arthur, let's go search the cabin. Smells like a party in here. Turn the place upside down. Grab as many supplies as you can. We need the essentials. Food, medicine, whiskey. Radar blips the... Okay, how do I... How do I put away my gun? Do I H for holster? No. Okay. O'Driscoll's. I don't believe it. It's a strange one, all right. Maybe they're hiding up here, too. There's a big price on Colm O'Driscoll's head. Nearly as big as the one on yours. Wanting Colm dead is about the only thing me and Uncle Sam agree on. Oh, I'm starving. You should eat something now. Get your strength up for the ride back. Uh, B to open my sash. There's so many things going on. Um, okay. Provisions. Recent tonics, ingredients, materials, kit, valuables, and documents. What is... So I need to eat. Classic owl cakes. Place is dry and warm. We could maybe move the women and Jack down here. Maybe. We'll see how they are when we get back. I don't really want us to split up. Maybe we all just move here. Huh. Looks like the poor bastard was married too. At some point. If we can't eat it or drink it, put it down. Oh. Zoom. Okay. Flip. Jake and Sadie wedding September the 7th or the 4th in 1896. I'm I, going to start packing the horses. You keep looking. All right. Grab anything you think we can use, then meet me out here. Okay, I'm, I'm still looking. R. Gold pocket watch. Uh, take. Flora of America cards and cigarettes. Inspect the card. Uh, Melissa and cigarettes. Huh. Okay. Oh, I gotta hold it. That's gonna be something I gotta get used to. <laughs> Holding the key down. What did it say while approaching something? Ugh. Rockstar, your tips have gotta stay up there. Oh, here we go. Okay. Oat cakes? Out? Did I say out cakes? I feel like I said out cakes. <laughs> I mean, like, it's my first day. <laughs> what are you doing in there, Arthur? Just let me finish searching the place. Yeah, calm yourself, sir, whose name I haven't remembered yet. Down we go. Search the cabinet, please. I will take that, whatever that is. Health cure. Take another one. And another one. It's like, what are you doing? What is taking so long? Biscuits. 
Anything else? More canned fruit. Canned peaches. What's taking so long in there? Just give me a minute. He's so pushy, that one. I mean, he's probably cold. Maybe you guys could stay in here, you know, out of the cold. Oh, it's the same cabinet. Okay. And what's on the table? Uh-oh. I hear wolves. Oh, wait. This, this uh, chest here. Money. Thank you. Anything else? No, nothing else. Do I see anything else? We're taken. I'm probably missing like 20 things, but we're being yelled at for going too slow. Micah, Arthur, keep looking for stuff. Arthur, go see if there's anything in that barn. Micah, you search the cabin. See what we missed. Sure. Best to get the barn, which is over there. But what is this? Oh, is this the outhouse? This is totally the outhouse. Left alt to view your current objective again. Okay. Expanded. Regular. Should I kill him? No. Not yet. Find out what they're doing here and where Calm is. Oh, this son of a bitch will talk. Uh, question. Where's Calm O'Driscoll? <sighs> With the others. Others. At an old mining camp southwest of here, near the lake. What are you bastards doing? Why are you up here? Uh, we're fixing to rob some train. Gonna blow the tracks. I don't know more than that, I swear. <laughs> well, I would say it looks like you have this, Arthur. Do what you want with him. I don't care. But bring that horse when you're done. Oh. I don't know anything else. <laughs> Please! <laughs> Get the hell out of here! Go! Tab. I got my hat. Tab. Oh, R. <laughs> Can't use the same button! Okay. <laughs> Take it easy there. <laughs> yeah, okay, boy. I'm doing I'm just trying to push all the buttons as fast as possible. Can you genuine to bomb with your horse increases its trusting you and improves its attributes? Okay. 
The horse has now become your horse, as indicated by you this. Go, huh? So I'm a little bastard scurrying off. Yeah. Figured he won't get far in this anyway. That looks like a decent horse. You should keep him. Get that horse hitch. Don't want him bolting. What the hell do you think you're doing? What? Oh, Where was she hiding? Oh. Leave her alone. I wasn't doing nothing. She's one of them Odriscoll's. No, she ain't, Michael. Look at her. Miss. Miss. Are you... Oh, you fool. Michael. Miss. Now, it is going to be okay. Put the fire we out. We mean you no harm. Miss! Miss! Come on. It'll be okay. We need to get out of here and quick. Come yeah. on now. Oh. Are you okay, miss? They came three days ago. And my husband, they... Okay. Miss, you are safe now. And you can't stay here. Now I'm gonna just burn you down her house. Carson. Miss, it's okay. Uh, we're bad men. We ain't them. So, uh, it's okay. Uh, get on. Uh, we'll keep you safe until you figure out what you want to do. What's your name, miss? Miss. Adler. Adler. Sadie Adler. Mrs. I... He... He was my husband. Oh. We can't use that place now. Right? Hey! Somebody's coming! Looks like it's Dutch. Hey, everybody, Dutch is back. How'd you get on? Uh, Micah found a homestead, but he weren't the first. Combe O'Driscoll and his scum, they beat us to it. Uh, uh, we found some of them there, but there is more about, apparently. Scouting the train. Thank you. That's the last thing we need right now, Dutch. Well, it is what it is, but we found some supplies, some blankets, a little bit of food, and this poor soul, Mrs. Adler. Miss Tilly, Miss Karen, would you warm her up? Give her a drink or something? And Mrs. Adler, it's gonna be okay. You're safe now. Mm. They turned her into a widow. Animals. I need some rest. I haven't slept in three days. You're over here. Miss O'Shea will show you the way. Mr. Morgan? We put you in a room over here. Thank you, Miss Grimshaw. Mr. Bell, you're with the fellas over there. What? Well, how come Arthur gets a room and I get a bunk bed next to Bill Williamson and a bunch of darkies? Get yourself to bed. <laughs> it's a fair question. Why is Arthur so special? I mean, we know why, because he's us, right? <laughs> Enter pursued by a memory? He ain't been seen in days. Weather ain't let up. He's strong. And he's smart. Strong, at least. <gasps> Hello, Arthur. Abigail. Arthur, how you doing? Fine. Just fine, Abigail. And you? I need you to... I I'm sorry. I'm sorry to ask, but... It's little John. He's got himself caught into a scrape again. He ain't been seen in two... Two days. Your John will be fine. I mean, he may be as dumb as rocks and as dull <laughs> as rusted iron, but that ain't changing because he got caught in some snowstorm. Please go take a look. Javier? Yes. Javier, will you ride out with Arthur <clears throat> to take a look for John? <clears throat> You're the two best fit men we've got. 
Now? She's... We're all... Yeah, we're pretty worried about him. Uh -huh. I know. The situation were reversed, and... He looked for me. Thank you. This way. Last I know, John was headed up the river. For all we know, he kept riding north and never looked back. He wouldn't leave. Not like that. Uh, wouldn't be the first time. It is so cold. <laughs> hey, I see some smoke. Come on, let's take a look. Let's hope it ain't more of O'Driscoll's boys. Yeah. Well, it seems somebody left recently. That way. Sure, well, come on then. There's some tracks leading to the river. Ha! All right. Uh, can I can I save yet? Is, is it possible to save yet? Player, I don't even know. This is not where I'm supposed to be going. Oh, wait. No, no, no. We had health for... Who is this health for? Your health attribute... Nope. Okay, I have no idea what all this is about, but I I'm going to pause here today. <laughs> so in tomorrow's video, we're going to continue to trudge through freezing, snowing conditions, and uh, maybe I'll figure out how to save, but um, I feel like that's not going to happen right now. But anyway, no story was it? Save game? I, I am currently unable to manually save. Well, I guess I'm... I'm still pausing here, <laughs> but in tomorrow's video, like I said, we'll continue to plow through the snow on our horse and, and see what happens next. But as always, thank you so very much for watching. Please do keep yourselves safe and I will see you again tomorrow with another new Red Dead Redemption 2 video.